Hey, welcome to this tutorial for Design Tuts and on this tutorial for Dreamweaver we're going to create a web form and see how it can interact with JavaScript. Okay, for first of all, you need to know how to create a web form because I'm not going to go over this. You might see you know, you might look at the other tutorial to see how to create web forms, but this is really simple. Uh, I'm just going to create a web form really quickly. All right. So we have a blank HTML page here. I'm in design view in Dreamweaver and I'm physically going to create a form. So I'm going to go to forms. Uh, for, uh, here we go. Create new form. Go back to common. Create, uh, create table. And two, two by two. Actually, no, three by, three by two. Um, three pixels. Table width. Um, 50%. Okay, all right, so we have a basic uh, table here, and let's just put some uh, labels. And um, it's gonna be basically full uh, name, and as for the email address, And here's basically gonna be nothing. Okay, so here we're gonna have our um, text field, text field ID. All right, the ID is extremely important now. The ID is gonna you need to have an ID that um, makes sense. So here the full name. So the ID is gonna be basically name. And just click OK. Next one, text field again, and then an ID, the email. And OK, and here I have a submit button. So here a button, and so ID is going to be basically um, submit. Click on OK. And if we go here and go to properties inspector right here, which I collapsed, and we can see that here, and I have an ID of submit, and we change the value to show it. Okay, so here I created my web form, basically. Um, now what am I going to do? What I'm gonna is go to the code view. And so we see a bunch of code here. And now between the head tags, I'm basically going to put the JavaScript. But before, let's look at the design. So what I'm going to do basically is as soon as we click this button, it's going to um, display a uh, alert box saying, hey, your name, is, hey, and you're going to, it's going to say whatever you put here, the name, your email address is, here you go, and there's the button, okay. So, basically, let's go to code view, and between the head tags, after the tile, after the meta tag, actually after the tile, until once and type in script here, space type um, text JavaScript. And we're gonna close this tag. Here we go. Let me see if it's right. Yes, text JavaScript. Here we go. Okay, so between this here we're gonna first create a function. Or right, in function is basically just what it's gonna do a fun an amount of code in this function and we're gonna do this function is gonna be called by our submit button so let's create a function basically and just type in function and space once uh, actually yeah and now obtain the name of the function so it's gonna basically gonna display name email 
that I'm typing correctly. There we go. So display name email. And we want the parameters. Now the parameters is basically what the user is going to input. But for this, we want our parameter to be form. So which form is it going to be? Because maybe you have different uh, forms. And between those functions, we need to have brackets. So now let's put our code. It's basically alert. So basically going to be a, a little pop-up box. And we want in parentheses. Parentheses. And we want to put a string. So string is just a simple single quote. And we want to pay. Hey. Space. Plus. We're going to put form. Dot. Name. Dot. Value. So let's look at what we did. Put this form. The name and the value, so we don't have any value here, but as soon as it was input, it's going to be value. And so let's do this again, plus your email address is plus, I forgot to see quote here, Is and we form dot email dot value. We can close parentheses and for semicolon. Here we go. So it's basically our JavaScript here. Now if we go down to the submit button, we see there is value. Show it. We put a space and type in on click so here is on click and on click is going to execute the function here so the function is going to be is display name email I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here but instead of form I want to be this so this document or well, this specific area dot form so now if we look at it 12 and here is our um, web browser so I have a Firefox it's gonna ask me full name so basically um, Jeremy and email address Let's show it it's gonna have my pop-up box hey Jeremy your email address is my germmichel at outmail.fr. Click on OK. And it resets everything. So basically, a simple way to interact um, the forms with um, JavaScript. Now you can go further into learning more JavaScript and do even more things. And you can uh, actually, uh, in, if people don't put a real email address, you can validate it. Or you can do a bunch of things with it. But that's basically what we uh, what we're gonna do for this tutorial, and that's basically the end. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it will be useful for you, and hope you learn something from it. All right, again, I'm Jeremy for Design Thoughts, and this is the end of the tutorial. See ya.